Good evening all. Today we are talking about why you should choose nursing as a profession. What is nursing? Nursing as defined by Florence Nightingale says that the, you have to uh, utilize the patient's environment to be able to assist him or her. It also, nursing also encompasses the promotion of health, prevention of illnesses, care of the ill, care of the disabled, and even the dying. In most countries, it is not a secret that nurses are trusted. Trusted in the sense that for somebody to leave the family members talking about the parents, about the children, especially the younger ones, in the care of the nurses, and they go home, going to be able to sleep, that means there's some trust. And this is because nurses are always in the hospital 24-7. And then when we talk about this nursing, who is actually a nurse? A nurse is that person who is trained to give care to those who are sick or injured. They work with doctors and other care workers to be able to make patients well and then to be fit and healthy. Nurses also help with the end-of-life care. This end-of-life care is given to those patients who have terminal illnesses, such as cancer. And these are people that actually require support, activity of daily living support. This is to enable them to die peacefully. This is part of what nurses also do. And then, if we're talking about why you must study nursing, nurses have some roles to perform. Part of these roles are one, they should be able to record medical history and symptoms. With this, they are able to communicate with other health care practitioners, especially when they have to have interdisciplinary care conferences in the care of the patients. This is very, very important. They also collaborate with other, um, care, uh, other team in the medical balance. Again, nurses are able to monitor patients' vital signs, and this is done by the use of blood pressure monitor machine, which is known as the speak thermometer. We also have the thermometer these days that is used to measure the temperature of the patient. We have the one that's the latest now. It is known as the pulse oximeter. The pulse oximeter is used to, to measure the oxygen saturation level of the patient. This is very, very important these days, especially in this area of uh, COVID-19 which affects the respiratory system of the patient. Any deviation beyond the normal in a patient in the oxygen level usually can lead to sudden death. So this is why this small but very efficient uh, equipment is very, very important. Nurses also monitor pain level of the patient. It is very, very important. Usually in patients post-operatively, it is an important part of their, of their work. Again, for the nurses to be able to perform these roles, some certain qualities are required of these nurses. Number one, the nurse must be very, very caring. Someone who is not caring is not caught for this profession because nursing requires a lot of passion. A nurse must also have empathy. Having empathy for your patient is meaning that you are putting yourself in this patient's shoes. What if the shoe were to be on the other foot? How would I feel if I'm on the bed and something nasty is being done to me? This is what we simply mean by empathy. And again, paying attention to little details. This is very, very important because a nurse that does not pay attention to little details. We come into the room and we just see a patient. A patient's condition has actually changed. But because she's not paying attention to little details, she's just able to miss that important Part of the patient's care, which is very, very, uh, very, very important. So this is why a nurse has to pay attention to little details. Again, a nurse must have a lot of stamina. Stamina in the sense that nursing involves a lot of lifting. We lift patients from their bed to the chair, from the chair to the wheelchair, or even back to the patient's bed. Sometimes there are some emergency situations where a nurse will have no choice than to quickly lift the patient. Anyone that does not have stamina is not able to do this. 
and again, a nurse must have a very good sense of humor. It is very, very important in caring for our patients because sometimes you come into your patient's room and you see that your patient is down. If you have a very good sense of humor, you start telling him, Mr. Peter, I'm here with my dancing shoes, we are going out this evening, we are going to the pool site. Your patient will start laughing when he will forget about what is wrong with him. This is part of sense of humor. And then integrity is a very, very important quality that a nurse must have. A nurse that comes into Mr. Bishop's room and then the money that he kept in his locker got missing. If this is discovered, of course, that, that nurse has lost her sense of integrity. And again, because critical decisions have to be taken, which is very, very life-saving. So this is why a nurse must have that integrity. A nurse must also be confident in anything that you do. Because if you are talking to your patients or even your relations, if you are not confident of what you are saying, of course they won't even have you know, that, that sense of you knowing what you are doing and then they will not believe in whatever you are telling them. So it, it is very, very important. A nurse must also be very, very kind-hearted. This is why most times we go out of our way. A patient saw you eating something yesterday and we say, oh, is it possible for you? Nurse Rose, can you get this for me? When you're coming tomorrow, if you are kind-hearted, I'm sure you will consider doing that for the patient. Again, a nurse must have a very great memory because most times you are not able to document things immediately due to the fact that one is busy. But if you have great memory, you are able to come back to document this, which is always referred to as late entries in your patient's record. In all of this, there are benefits in studying nursing. One, they enjoy job security. So meaning that at every given time, there's always uh, the need for nurses, whether locally or internationally. So if you have job security and stability, of course, there's no fear. Again, they have freedom to work anywhere that they like. If they can choose to work in private hospitals, they can work in public hospitals, they can work in nursing homes, they can work in schools, even in military bases, they have the right to work there. And again, any, all, the, all the skills that they have acquired and knowledge that they acquired in schools, this will enable them to be able to work anywhere, so long as they are able to speak the local language. This is very, very important. Again, the medical knowledge that a nurse has acquired arms him or her to be able to function anywhere. Most often, a nurse is walking on the road and suddenly sees somebody that collapses. How many people will be able to run towards that person to perform CPR, which is known as cardiopulmonary resuscitation? Or you see somebody that has asthmatic attack or epileptic attack. Most times, people are there, they are just out there, they are taking their phones, they are making video recordings, instead of offering help. But as a nurse, with all the knowledge that he or she has acquired, they are able to render help to this person. For you to be able to do all these things, again, you need this knowledge, you need training. And there are so many colleges, universities that offer nursing. They offer it at affordable prices. Affordable does not mean that it is a low quality education. But there's somebody out there that is subsidizing. Most times it is the government that subsidizes this education. And online nursing degrees are also available. Meaning that this can be done in the comfort of your home. You do it, you are able to attend to your family and then you carry on. Nursing is a very, very lucrative profession. It is a profession that if you have passion for it, you will love doing it. And there is no time that you can ever be out of job. I urge you, the younger ones, to please pick nursing as a profession because it is something that you will enjoy doing if you have passion for it. These days, so many countries, they are always looking for nurses, they are placing vacant adverts for nurses in different fields. And when talking about different fields, I'm talking about specialties in nursing. We have such as midwifery, pediatric nursing, anesthetic nursing, we have community nursing, uh, we also have public health nursing. There are so many ones that are out there that you can specialize in. Personally, at the age of eight, my parents said I had started folding paper and putting it on my head 
representing the nurses cap. And I grew up to love nursing profession. I trained, I have a degree, and I also have a master's in public health. I have a lot of certificates such as in sickle cell, I'm a sickle cell genetic counselor, I'm a, a, a family health nursing practitioner, and a host of others. Even when I work and retire statutory, because of the passion I have for nursing, I still set up a rehabilitation, a physiotherapy rehabilitation and wellness center where we look after patients who have had surgery, either spine surgery or they had orthopedic, orthopedic surgery. Some of them even had neurological conditions such as stroke. They are all the ones that we take care of in my facility. I enjoy nursing. Thank you very much for listening. God bless.